Good day guys, well this is the raccoon that I caught today. So I'm going to try and do a put up video on how I skin them, flesh them and board them. So I'm probably going to speed the video up just so it doesn't take so, so damn long. But let's get to her.
Okay, we got him all skinned out. You can see the bullet hole. So the knives I'm going to be using, I don't know how much I'm going to use this one. This is just a, a cheapy. I got this quite a few years ago. I don't even know who makes this. But I use it quite a bit on coyotes. But likely what we're going to use on this is a Necker 600. Um, for coons and beaver I like to use the Necker or I like to use, I also have a Zeph. So we'll probably use, uh, use the Necker as much as possible on here. Uh, with raccoons, I never, with any of my critters, unless I'm going to keep them I guess, I never completely flesh the face. I'm going to take a little bit of this meat off um, and flesh the rest of it just for the video and then I'll come back after and probably clean the face up a little bit. So we'll see. Okay, let's get to it.
skinned and we got her flashed uh, hopefully this camera angle will work um, you've probably seen in that video uh, that when I flashed it how greasy it was and stuff it's because the coon was fresh uh, I should have probably left it in my garage overnight or at least skinned it put it in the fridge overnight and it wouldn't have pushed so so sloppy like that I couldn't get around the ears very good, so I ended up uh, taking the removing the cartilage out of the ears. I know you don't have to. I never have on a raccoon before, but I was considering maybe keeping this. So, so I'm just going to try and center center them on the board. You can see there's the bullet hole. I'm not even going to sew that up. And I made two boo-boos and I was flushing. Kind of right, I don't know if you can see that right across from each other. But I'm going to be able to cut that out when I have an inspection window. I'm on the fence if I'm going to keep it or not. So I'm going to put it up as if I'm going to sell it. Try and put it up here so maybe you guys can see. I could definitely be putting this coon up wrong. I don't put up a whole bunch. So for any of you uh, coon trappers, hopefully you're not cringing at, uh, at my work. Grab my screens for the tail. So this one's measuring at a 2x. It's I don't want to pull it down to three. I probably could pull it to three, but I'd rather leave the fur density 